Well, guys, it's finally here. Atlantean Part 2. The new underwater route, story, lore, 20 new Lumians, and a so and soul burst. We have been waiting for this moment for, ye for years, and it's finally here. Now let's continue our adventure, and now let's continue our adventures. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, I did some tree. Training a while ago. Oh good, you finally made it, Dylan. We all just got here, here a few minutes before you. We could have gotten here sooner, but Lucas had to make, make a couple of stops. I feel five pounds lighter. This is all of you now, correct? Yep, we're all here now. Excellent. Mr. Ferrix is waiting for you all inside. I believe he mentioned it before, before but I prepared a meal for everyone and would ask that would ask that you remember your manners while dining. Did you hear that, Lucas? Don't forget your manners. I wonder what food is waiting for us inside. Maybe it's gold bee sticks with triple dip whipped cream whipped whipple drift sauce. Or maybe it's Seth Fried style pizza with fresh moon tune mozzarella. You didn't hear any of that, did you, Lucas? You'll be, you'll all be, will you all please follow me? We don't want to keep Mr. Ferrix waiting. Yes, sir, we'll be right behind you. Or maybe it's a spicy cradle curry with. Okay, I didn't get to read that. <laughs> so excited. Wow, it's not. Please wait here while I go fetch Mr. Ferrix. It'll only be a moment. Wow, this place is really nice. I wonder if it's just Mr. Ferrix and Milta that live here. I could get used to living in a place like this. It's a bit too big for my taste. Ah, wonderful. Everyone made it. I hope you didn't have any trouble finding the place. Note, your giant house in the middle in the middle of the city was pretty easy to spot. Lucas. <laughs> yes, the estate is pretty hard to miss. This structure was originally built as a base of operations during the construction of the city. Roy Voto had it remodeled into the beautiful home that you see today. He left it to me as he transitioned to a more private life. It is the oldest building in the city. What would have been fascinating to see the city during construction. Yeah, I, c I can't imagine what kind of challenges must have been must have been overcome to build the entire city underwater. <coughs> Th there were loads of challenges, of course, of course. But what I've heard, heard, it still didn't compare to trying to build a city in the sky. I was not part part of that original project. I was approaching. I was approached after, Asian. The Asian is then by the art architect who wanted to pick up the pieces and rebuild it below the ocean. At the time, at the time I just opened my business, and my submarines were logistically necessary for her Atlantean construction. We owned a host of specialized vehicles, modified for modified some as needed, and even invented a few. That's how I made my way where I am now. I have lots of pictures from during that time. Maybe I can grab my album and show, show you what the construction of At Atlantean City was like. That would be awesome. Ahem. Sir, dinner preparations are complete. I suggest you share you share with our guests another time. Oh, yeah, that's true. That is true. Sir, sir everyone, we'll have to save it for another time. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Now then... Actually, where is Milta? That that girl is always late to dinner. I told her 
to be ready before our guest arrive. He must be still playing in a room. Actually, you know how you know how easily Milta gets distracted. Would you mind fetching her quickly so that we can start dinner? No need, Don. I'm here now. I'm sorry I'm late. I was cleaning my room. Hey, wait, aren't you? Yes, it is you. You're the one who saved me on the beach. I was so scared I couldn't move. Then you showed up with you, showed up, and you were so cool. You took care of that big scary Lumion like it like it was nothing. I told all my friends about you, and they didn't believe me, except Sasha and Gabby. But it seemed, but only because they were there to see it. And I watched you ace the battle theater challenge earlier. It was so cool. How are you? All right now, Milta. No, no. What is Milta? We know how that you're excited about. Let's dial it back. A bit. Oh, sorry. And then, with I just wanted to thank you for saving me. It's nice to see that you're in better spirits. You're a lot more talkative now. Yes, that experience on the beach was a bit was a bit traumatic. She's been she's been more herself after returning home. Home and Link life settled down. M Millie, Millia, yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced. M anyways, Millia has told the story continuously. She, she has even convinced that she will be, she'll grow up to be a Lumion trainer just like her hero. <coughs> it's true. I'm going to start training, and I won't stop until I become as strong as you. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I, I have a little cough. Aw, uh, did you hear hear that, Dylan? She wants to be just like you. Well, let's see. Let's see about that. Strong trainers can. Strong trainers have to eat their car carrots and broccoli. Dad. On that note, who's ready for dinner? Oh boy, I'm ready. If you will, will all uh, follow me. And I will show you to the di dining room. I haven't had a meal this good in a long time. The soup was perfect from start to finish. Ah uh, yes, Back Baxley's famous sea soup is a favorite. It's a favorite in his in his household. In this household, Millie requested it at least once a week. It's so good. I appreciate everyone's compliments. Please help yourselves to to as much as you like. Well, will do, sir. So much for manners. That's very nice painting of you, of you and Milia, Mister Ferrex. Who's that looming in the picture with you? That's. Torty, our ma May Koro. He's my best friend. Torty is sick right now, unfortunately. That's him to the doctor until he can get better. Yes, we wish Torty could, could join us that tonight. He has been with us ever since M Milia found him injured on the beach. Milia and Torty became best friends while Baxley and I nursed him back to health. After that, Torty chose to stay with us and has been part of the family. He ever sent. He has been very protective of Mil Mil Milia. Such a wonderful Lumion he is. Aw, that's such a sweet story. I love hearing stories of people of people rescuing Lumions. I was very fortunate to have found Torty when when I did. If if I had not come along when I did, who knows what might have happened. Likewise, if you. If you lot ha had not come along when you did, there is no telling what might have happened to Amelia. I cannot thank you, you know, all enough, all enough for what you did for my family on the beach. On the beach, there's no need to thank us. We're just doing what any good good Lumian traders would do. I feel awful for how I responded to your plea at dinner. At the, at the diner. I coolly dismissed your urgency to travel to Atl Atlantean without hearing you out. I sincerely apologize for that. However, on 
Now, in that circumstances are different. I'd like to hear more about this mission of yours. Maybe there is more than I can do, do to help. <coughs> do you think it's okay to talk about it? I'm not sure what what is what is Dylan's dad, dad was like as discussing it with other people. Before we got out about what exactly is going on, it would cause problems. Mr. Ferrix knows Atlantean City inside and out. This could be our best chance to find help. Hmm, okay. If your mission is too sensitive for my ears, I won't pry it further. I just saw it if, it, if there were any, if there were more that I could do to repay you, I would like to do it. I think it would be, it would be okay to share with you what we know. But first, I ask that you keep what I am about to share private. I want it. We want to avoid spreading this information. I understand completely. Baxley, please take M Melia to, back to her room and hope her get ready for bed right away, sir. Oh, come on. I want to stay and hang out with my new friends. I didn't get to spend any, get to spend any time talking to them. It's not fair. Hmm. Tell me, do the, fi do the five of you ha have some place to rest for the night? We haven't made any plans for that yet. I had an idea that just came to mind right now, just now. Why don't you stay with us tonight? We have a couple of guest bedrooms. I'm sure we had a long day after that triumphant battle at the, the battle theater. <coughs> and tomorrow, we can pick back up on our conversation and see what more I can do, I can do to help you. What do you say? It would mean a lot to my daughter if you accept. That sounds like a lovely idea. That would be perfect. Excellent. Well then, back, 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 go ahead and prepare our guest rooms for our friends here. Once you're done, you can show them to their rooms. Yes, Mr. Ferrix. I'll be back in a flash. Yay! I always wanted to have a sleepover. This will be so, this will be so much fun. Remember, Milta, Milia, treat our guests with respect. We'll go out to bed. You will still go to bed, bed on time and let our guests get the rest they need. Yes, Dan, I know. There's so many things I want to show them before I go to bed, though. There, there's my Coraline and Li and Lillian ba Battlestar doll dolls and my Lumion sticker collection and, and the rooms are ready. I will now show you to your rooms. Well, that was fast. Really fast. All right, Lucas, put, put the food down. It's time to go. All right, fine. Do you think there will be breakfast? Lucas. <coughs> Guys, here we are now. The guest rooms have been prepared. The first room has one, has one bed. The second room has two. Finally, there's Amelia's room, which is, which features her three beds with ver varying levels of firmness. Should I need to remove any of the beds to better accomplish? That won't be necessary, Baxley. After all, it's a sleepover, remember? I think we all know who deserves the room with one bed. Dylan, after your victory at the battle theater, I think you deserve to get some solid rest. I agree, Jake. Then we'll take the other guest room, then Mabel and Lu Lucy Lucy can stay stay in Melia's room. And we'll have to make and we will have to make Baxley move any beds. Yeah, that works out perfectly. Very well. Are there any questions before I before I leave you to your room? Yeah. What's that door at the end of the hall? That's that's Daddy's office. I'm not allowed to go in, in when he's not there. That's right, Melia. Mr. Ferris do not like people in his office when he's not around. Now, would I ask that you all try to get as much sleep as you can tonight? I will return to gather you, gather you for breakfast bright and early in the morning. With that, I bid you good night. Well, I'm going to get ready for bed tomorrow. I'll see you all in the morning. Yep, same here. See you guys bright and early. Good night, Jake.
All right, let's go to my room now. I'll show you my extra bed and bed and let you pick which one you want. Then I want you to show. Then I want to show you all my toys. Oh boy, that sounds like a lot of fun. Let's go, Lucy. Good night, Dylan. Today was a really long. Today re really was a long day. A lot, of ha a lot has happened in such a short time. With my friends, I explored Atlantean City, a massive city built underwater, under the ocean. We learned about, learned the history behind the stone of corruption and possibly even the history of the world. I took another, ba took on another battle theater challenge and was victorious. I got to see mom and dad. Mr. Fer Ferrix invited us to dine with him, and tomorrow we'll be asking Mr. Ferrix to, Ferrix to assist in our search of the next chunk of the tablet. It seems it'll, it'll, like it'll be another long day. I should probably get some sleep. Hmm? Hey Dylan, are you still awake in there? We didn't wake you up, did we? None of us were able to fall asleep yet, so we thought we would come and check and see how you 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 were doing. Some of us can sleep for other reasons. Still haven't I still haven't shown you guys my stickers and, and my Mbit plushie. Oh yeah, I get to can I tell you can you tell me more stories about about life as a trip 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 trainer? Haha uh -huh, yes that too uh -huh, yeah that too. You think we can come in and hang out for a bit? Sweet this room is so nice and cozy. <clears throat> the room Jake and I have is a lot bigger and has a much, has a bunch of paintings of people. It feels like the people in those pictures are are all staring at us. It made it, made it pretty hard to fall asleep. Now he says there are portraits of his friends that help 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 build Atlantean City. I I don't really know how how any of them. I really don't know any of them since this was all before I was born. <coughs> <coughs> so Amelia, you lived here your whole life, right? Do you like it down here? I mean, living under the ocean? It's okay, I guess. Since Tori's been sick, I've been hanging out with some of my other friends. Therefore, there are only a few girls my age that live in Atlantean City. There aren't that many things things for girls my age to do and that's in the city so we mostly play together at home. Every now and then that daddy will take us to the surface to do stuff like when we went for a swim at the beach but I don't know if he'll let me go swimming with my friends anymore after what happened last time. Maybe if Tori had been with us has been there with me those bad lumines wouldn't have attacked me. I wish I was a loom trainer like Dylan. Watching you battle on the beach and the battle of theater TV was so cool. Hey, Amelia, you know that all of us are living trainers, right? I might not have any ba battle theater medals, but I, have, but I have been in some pretty cool battles myself. You have been, you have been in cool battles, huh? Which one? Which one were those? Oh, uh, well, there were so many. So many. It's kind of hard to remember any specifically. Yeah, that's why I saw. Wait, all of you are Lumine trainers? Why didn't you tell me sooner? That's so cool. I figured that Mabel was a trainer because her ketone follow her ketone followed her everywhere. But to learn <coughs> but to learn that the rest of you are trainer is it's quite a surprise. Haha <laughs> Starla that haha <laughs> Starla Starla isn't a ketone. We are not sure what she is what she is. And actually, I'm hardly a trick in her. I almost have no battle experience. Starla is pretty lazy and sleeps for most of the day. She's not really the battling type. Oh, that's too bad. The rest of you like battling, right? Do you ever battle with each other? Um, well, not a lot. Not a lot. <clears throat> My friend's brother says that he battles with his friends all the time for practice. What if you guys had a battle right had a battle right now? Right now? Like here in this room? Yeah, it would be so cool. Baxley will clean up what 
whatever mess that we made, so we don't have to worry about that. I don't know. This room isn't isn't the best place for what's wrong. You scared? What? Scared? No, I'm not scared. It sounds like you're afraid of losing to Dylan. Wow, this girl's good. I'm not afraid to lo I'm not afraid of losing to anyone. Because I because I don't lose. Then prove it. I don't have to prove anything to you. You know what, Lucas? I think you should do do the battle. I want I want I wanna join you. Let's have a double battle instead. It'll be Lucas It'll, it will be Lucas and I versus Jake and Dylan. Sure, I'll be okay. Sure, I'll be okay with that. Are you sure? Are you guys being serious? <sighs> okay, fine. I've never done a double battle though, so this will be a, this will be new to me. Don't worry, it's not so bad. Just follow my lead. What are you What are you say, sis? Are you guys ready? Lucy and I will be going easy on you. Yay! Battle, battle, battle. Can't have been confused. Well, what? Wow! They, what? Well, well, they, they updated the move set, the Mo move info. Some Mm hmm Help Brain and any and Gumbunga fainted. <coughs> Garbantis. Horn Dashi. I'm getting so angry that I only want to use damage moves. Heavy Bash. Use Boca. Gamma Pulse. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, uh. Alright, Sangoop is down. Alright. Alright, quick punch to... Quick, quick punch to death. Bill level that. <coughs> and I win. 
Well, uh, oh, oh, we trashed up the room. Wow, you guys are really, you guys are really strong. I feel like everyone has improved since our last battle. Even though we lost, I like, I lost. I have to admit, the battle was lots of fun. Wow, that was so fun to watch. Oh, that was so fun to watch. The way you, you and your Lumians battled was so cool. I. I wish you guys never had to leave. Playing with you guys was so much fun. It's been so lonely around here. Was Tori gone? Huh. Mi uh, Melia. Melia, if you don't mind asking, what happened to Tor Tori? I don't mind. I don't, I don't really know what, ha what happened. A week ago, that Daddy rushed out, the, uh, rushed out of the house saying that he's found something. Took Tor Tori with him. Daddy usually takes Tori with him when he, when he goes to explore. Was exploring in the ocean. I waited all day at home for him to return. It was late. When he finally got back, he finally got back. But Tori wasn't with him. When I asked Danny where Tori was, he looked sad and told me that Tori got sick and, it, and was at the doctor. I asked him every day if Tori was uh, has gotten better, and he keeps saying Tori will be okay. Okay, Danny won't let me see. Won't take me to see Tori though. That sounds really strange. Lumine trainer stations are usually equipped with equipped to aid to aid Lumines back back to health pretty quickly no matter their condition. Whatever it is, it must be pretty serious. I mean well I mean I'm sure he'll be fine like your dad said. It's okay. I trust that that he is making sure he's being taken care of. I really miss him though. Sometimes I remember when I'm lying awake at night, I remember Tori's voice so clear clearly. It's as if, as if I can really hear him calling out to me. You mean like that? Wait, you you mean you can hear it too? Yeah, I heard it as well. There it is again, even louder. It sounds like a looming cry. Yeah, I'm paying. It's Tori. I know Tori's call better than anyone. It sounds like he's in the house somewhere. Have to go see him. I guess we should help Melia. Help Melia to find where whatever creature is making those sounds. <coughs> oh, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna, gonna adjust the team a little bit. What's going on? Sounds like Christ. Christ sounds like they ain't been coming from Daddy's office. I'm not allowed to go in here without him, though. That's Daddy's, that that room is Daddy's office. It sounds like the Christ may be coming in from inside. But I'm not allowed to go any go in there without Daddy. I have to see if Tori. I have to see if Tori's all right. Maybe if you guys go inside with me, it'll be okay. All right, if you say so. Something's not right with his dad. Dad. What's their dad? Well, this is Daddy's office. Wow, there's a lot of books in there. Most of them are just business files from Daddy's work. The reason why I'm not allowed in here by myself is because I, Daddy thinks I might mess up his files. But playing with, but playing with files sounds boring. So I don't know why he gets w worried about that. He might have other reasons, perhaps. Well, it doesn't matter. We're here now, and I don't see any signs of where that noise is, was coming from. It sounded like it was coming from this room. We we all heard it, right? Where else could, could it come from? There it is again. <clears throat> you see what I mean? It's louder in in here than in the hallway. Yeah, but yeah, it doesn't look like anything is in here. It sounds like a little muffled, a little muffled too. Could it be coming from the room next to, to this one. There's only this is the only other room in this wing. Daddy's office, my my bedroom, and the guest room. That's it. It's pretty loud now. It's got to be coming from somewhere in this room. Maybe we should split up and search this room then. It must be nearby. That's a good idea. Okay, just don't touch that Daddy's files. I don't want him to be mad mad at you and never invite you over again. No problem, Amelia. I'll keep my hands to myself. 
That's literally impossible for you, Lucas. If I know, if I know anything of anything, what was that? What is that? See, is that a secret passage? Maybe there's something on his de desk, well, such as this button. This is nothing that do not pre do not press. I want to do nothing more than to press that button. Oh, nothing happened. Do you really think something would have happened? So that may you thought that maybe this would help somehow help you in your search for Tori. You saw you saw that given the circumstances, it might be okay to press it just this one time. Now that you press the button, you feel you feel a bit ashamed. There is no use to there is no use in denying it. You shouldn't have pressed the button. It was clearly marked. So how so how do you proceed from here? Are you going to carry the shame with you? Carry the shame with you and try to hide what you've done? Well, of course not. You're Dylan. There's no shame in that. You admit to your mistakes and learn from them. You choose who you are. Now get out there and show the world what it means to be Dylan. Okay. 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 I guess it apparently worked. And no one seems to be reacting to it, so I'm just going to go up there. Ah, forgot to do the Lumion Legacy. I can't jump it, unlike the unlike little world. What's, what's this? An odd chunk of what appears to be a go gold. Take it. Took it with you. Eh, I feel bad for robbing this guy's ha house. Maybe. Maybe he's hiding a dark se secret. Maybe he's in cahoots with the vi villain I whose name I kind of forgot got about. There's a statue. This statue just looks just like a real Sawaki. Do you think this one, one is made of real gold? Okay, how do I put... I think it's very clear on what it's supposed to do. You place the gold piece into the statue's hand. Ooh, ah, secret passageway. Well, there's a secret room behind the fireplace. It's just like in the mo just like the movies. Amelia, do you know how? Do you know about this place? No, they ain't never told, never, never told me that he had a secret room. How strange. I just turn the volume. <coughs> Better. How strange. Wait, what's that up in the back? Is that? <sighs> It's Tori, I knew it. Amelia, wait up. Tori, I knew I knew I knew it was you. I knew it was you. Are you hurt, Tori? They said you were at the doctor. Why did they lock you up in this inside this machine? Hold up, Amelia. Something doesn't seem right. T Tori, what was wrong? Why are you acting so angry? This isn't right. Tori is acting like he doesn't recognize me. What happened to you, Tori? Did I do this to you? Hey, look over here. Hey, look over here. What's that big? What's that big rock? That's got to be a piece of what? That's got to be the piece of what? Of that cursed stone tablet we've been searching for. It looks like it's. It looks just like the one from Pollute Corp. Wait, do you think that Tori was corrupted by that stone? That will explain why Tori is acting so strangely. So Mr. Ferrix is also also using the corrupted tablet to experiment on Lumians? 
when did when we heard when we were in his office I found some documents labeled Trent transactions was blue coal or it seems like that it seems like that they were they may be working together it may be too early to say but I'm sh sure it doesn't look look that way regardless Tori is da dangerous if he's been corrupted you know, you should I'm so so I'm so sorry you've been stuck in there Tori I have to I have you out there in no time wait Billia don't Ah! Amelia! Get away from her! Get away from Tori! It's, re it's really angry. Dylan, please, please stop it before it gets. before it attacks Amelia again. <laughs> Attack by. Alright, draw now. These cases trap. <laughs> Tori, Tori, please wake up. Is Tori going to be okay? Amelia, it might not be safe to be so cl close to Tori right now. I don't care. Tori is my best friend. I can't leave him, leave him alone when he's hurt. I just want to know why he attacked. Me. Just want to know why he attacked me. He acted like he didn't recognize me. I believe Tori was infected by the corrupted stone in the display case. Whatever. Whenever, pe whenever people or Lumians come in direct contact with stones like, like these, they lose control of themselves and become really angry. They'll even attack those that they love, at, they love, as we just witnessed. We know this because Dylan has been journeying throughout Roria to collect these corrupt stone pieces. He just and has similar and had similar encounters. So Tori has been attacking. Attacking me because he's not in control. That makes me feel a little bit better. <sighs> the dark energy surrounding Tori, Tori seems to have disappeared. Did Dylan su successfully calm it down? It seems that besting a corrupted, a corrupted being in battle will wear them out enough to make the make the effect wear off. So does that mean Tori isn't angry anymore? Mm. Uh. Tori, you're awake now. I'm so worried about you. Please don't scare me like that, Tori. Lucy tended to Tori, aiding him back to the hell, back to hell. That should do it. Tori should be back to full health with the medicine I gave him. Thank you, Lu thank you, Lucy. Tori is back, back to his normal self now. Oh. And thank you, Dylan, for st stopping Tordy when he was infected with the mean stuff. We were lucky that we had a we had a capable trainer like Dylan with us. Not to mention, D Dylan has a lot had a lot of experience with dealing with corrupted Lumians already. There really ha wasn't a better person to be there to help. I'm so happy that Tor Tordy is okay now. But why was Daddy keeping Tordy in the seek in a seek room by by himself while he was sick? What? What's this? What are y'all doing in my private collection room? And what's with, what's with all the ruckus? You woke up the whole ha house with all the noise you were making. We're sorry, sir. We were in our room when we heard, when we started hearing strange noises. And well, Daddy, why why did you have Tori locked up in there? You say he was sick and that you took him to the doctor. Tori was really angry. He acted like he didn't remember me. And he was trying to hurt me. My friends had to sa had to save me again. Why, Daddy? Why, why did you hide Tori? Why did you hide Tori? I'm sorry for keeping this keeping all this secret from. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for keeping all 
But this is a secret from you, M Melia. I hid the truth because hid the truth from you, from you, so that you wouldn't be upset. I can't, I can't hide things from you now. From you now, though. Allow me to explain everything that that ha has happened. Last week, I took Tori with me on a Tori with me on my routine submarine drive. I frequently take take a dr drive in my private submarine and search for and search sea floors for treasures and artifacts of legend, of the legendary lost city. I let Tori accompany, accompany me company accompany so he could get out and stretch his stretch it, and stretch his flippers. He also rather keen on spotting things that that would typically miss. On this particular trip, Tori and I were on our way back home. Home, home empty-handed after a long, un uneventful dive. We were, get, we were getting so we we're getting close to the city when something seems to catch our Tori's eye. Take a closer look, and it, and to my surprise, Tori has discovered an odd chunk of stone nip with a, a peculiar aura. I could <coughs> sense that something was not not right from the moment I set my eyes on the stone. There was something eerie about it, but curiosity outweighed our senses and of caution. Before the act, Tori already touched the stone. Tori stopped moving as if he passed out. I panicked and brought him on board with me. He was unable to wake up wake up back I was unable to wake him back up myself. Did something happen to him while he touched the stone? The stone I saw. It. I knew I must immediately rush to find Tori a doctor in case the stone could be important to the antidote I retrieved using the, the mechanical arm on my submarine. <coughs> I brought Tori and the stone <coughs> returned home. <coughs> when we got home, I rushed Tori to the to the Atlantean's best blooming medical doctors. All in the emergency recovery, Tori awoke and became and began attacking the doctors. Thankfully, one of the doctors was able to sedate Tori. That was when I realized something was very was very wrong with him. The doctor said I would have to be have, would have to send Tori somewhere to be examined. I didn't want to do that to Tor Tori, so I had basically prepared this holding tank to quarantine Tori until I can find a cure. I spent days looking for an answer, but nothing worked. I, I realized that the eerie stone we found must have done, done this. I had to carefully lock it up, lock it up in here until I could figure out what to do with it. Anyways, I only had Tori in here, in here a few day, days. He appears to be completely fine now. Could it be that, that all he needed, needed was a little time for his body to fight the infection? No, no daddy. Dylan had to fight Tori until he was exhausted. Oh my, that's that is fascinating though. All it took took to wear him down was a good battle. Hmm. Do you do you know what's it what's interesting? If you call the San Marine which attacked Billy on the on the beach, ordinary San Marine stay out the seas and leave people alone. But that particular San Marine was acting violently. That is until. He defeated it in battle. Is it possible that the San Marine which attacked Melia had also become also become in contact with the stone like like the one you found? I see. That remind that reminds me. After that terrible experience on the beach, I was so upset that I reached out to a company that manufactures San Marines. Having done business with Pollute Corp in the past, I have contacts with some the higher ups. That very that very same day, I receive a phone call from another un other than their president himself, Doctor Vanta. Doctor Vanta, ah, you know him. Yes, Doctor Vanta, brilliant man, quite a gentleman. He's all he's always going out of his way and making things right. After he apologized for the tragic malfunction, we talked for quite for quite some time. And then, surely, I told him about about Tor Tori's unique situation. 
He offered to have his greatest ex science examined 24 the mysterious in the mysterious stone. It should be here. Should be there sometime to pick him up tonight. Tonight? Yes, tonight. Is there a problem? Speaking of, speak of the dust yet. That must be them now. Back, back, back. So would you mind him greeting our guest and letting him know I will be with them shortly? Right away, sir. Now then, if you'll follow me, I'll guide you back to your room before I can take care of my business with my guest. Actually, Sir Accuse, if you could spare a moment. Oh, what is it? Well, sir, we want, we want to talk to you about with that chunk of stone. My friends and I know what it is and where it came from. You do? How's that? It's kind of a long story, but I'll try to shorten it since we are short on time. Jake recounts the incidents involving the pieces of the cursed tablet. He explains that you and your friends are on a journey to secure the remaining pieces before they can cause further harm to, to others. Jake also re reveals Pelucor's plan to use the cursed tablet to weaponize Lumians. <coughs> So you think that Eerie Stone could be sealed remains of Aku Rari's powers? It sounds like you certainly have been studying the the Atlantean Museum at the Atlantean Museum. I must say, say even though I am personally responsible for discovering several of the artifacts on display at the Atlantean Museum, you know, even I don't know that. Even I know that the legend told by the murals are, are likely nothing more than a legend. I mean, the very creation of our world and the destruction of the first era lost city. If you think about it, it makes sense. Besides that, you say that Blue Corp, whom I invited in my home, wanted to use a stone for a crew to create an army of power of su army of super powered Lumians and sell them for profit. I saw it for myself, sir. As crazy as your story sounds, we're telling the truth. I believe you about Blue Corp. You do? I thought there was some, there was something a, a little go, gulpy about Doctor Banta, Banta's interesting interest in Tori. He insisted, insist, he insisted, practically, practically demanded to have his associates tend to Tori to make up for the submarine attack. At the time, it didn't occur to me that he might have an ulterior motive, but now it makes, and now it makes sense. Well, I ought to go now and and come up with a reason to, with a reason to send my guest guest away. Do it. Quite sorry, sir, but they insisted on seeing you immediately. It's all right, Baxley. I'll take care of this. <coughs> Mr. Ferrix. Mr. Ferrix. We won't make we won't take as much much of your time. We are on behalf of Blue Corp and to cor to collect a certain stone and an aluminum as part of the deal you made with our boss. We are no longer need of your assistance. The aluminum I spoke to Doctor Vintant it's a regarding is no regarding is no longer ill, so I am no longer need of your help. Oh, I am so happy to hear. Well then. We'll go on ahead and take the stone off your hands. I appreciate your help, but that won't be necessary. I'm sorry I came here, came all the way out here for nothing, but I'm going to ask that you you leave, that you please leave now. Wait a minute, I know you. I ran, I ran into you near the Atlantean Battle Theater. Yeah, the one the boss asked me to keep an eye on. I figured. Because the battle here would be a decent distraction. Would be a decent distraction, but you, but here you are in the middle of my business. How troublesome! You, you've been spying on us. I have a feeling that we were being being followed ever since we left Sephirite City. What do you What do you want from us? The boss just wants to keep an eye on you. Make sure that you aren't causing any. Any more trouble to to him? That's all. That doesn't matter right now, though. We're not here for you. We're just here for the stone. It's the ferrets. You cannot let them have it. They're going to use it to hurt others. Oh, I see what's going on here. You're here to you're here to claim the stone for yourselves, aren't you? That is enough. 
I will not ask again. You will leave now or I'll contact the authorities and have you removed by force. Mr. Ferrix, let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We only want to take the trouble that troublesome stone off your hands and keep it, keep it somewhere safe. We can do, do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way. You won't say... You say you don't want anyone else to get hurt. Let's do that the easy way and no one will get hurt. Are you threatening to resort to resort to violence? That's entirely up to you. Uh, what, what will, will it be? Now, what's going to happen? I'm scared. Everything will be okay, Amelia. That's right. We're not going to let we're not going to let anyone get hurt. All right, Dylan. You can, do you kids honestly believe that you stand a chance against these highly trained blue court personnel? Fine, but, di but I didn't say I warned you. Two of you up front now. Make this quick. The boss is counting on you. Yes, sir. Ooh, another battle. <laughs> blue scientist and blue guard. <laughs> Navy strap. You lousy good for nothing. That's enough. That's enough. You two. We're sorry, but we're sorry, boss. All right, you two. You're up. Don't worry, boss. We won't disappoint you. All right. All right. An another another battle. We won't know much. We won't.
Well, let's avoid that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Enough! You kids are making my blood boil. It's over for you. Your support has been defeated. Oh, it's far from over. In fact, it's just it's just the beginning. Thanks for the information you foolish foolishly traded to my boss. He'll be arriving in the lost city too. Soon discover its ancient secrets. All I had to do was remove you from the picture right here and right now. You will not lay a finger on anyone, sir. Please allow me to handle things from here. I believe that there's a pressing matter matters elsewhere. Indeed, Baxley. I need to stop Dr. Van Vanta, Vanta before this gets out of hand. I trust you will be able to take care of things here, Baxley. You don't need to worry about me, sir. I'm more than capable of handling handling myself in a in a skirmish. I appreciate it, Baxley. I I can always count count on you. All right, follow me. I'm going to need you. Need you to help was it this right behind me, Mr. Ferrex. Lead the way. Excellent, let's hurry. Wait, stop. We're not done here. <coughs> Who says we're done? Huh? What you, why did you say that to me? I'm, I do not appreciate you making starts against my family and friends. Allow me to teach you a lesson in manners. What the? Oh, what was the Lumion? Oh, what? That's the real question. Right this way, please. I haven't much time. We haven't. We haven't had much time to spare. Where are we going, Mr. Ferris? Don't worry, I'll explain in a moment. Try to keep up with me now. We are, he we are here in my private submarine dock. We might still have enough time to stop him. Stop who, Daddy? Mr. Ferrix. What does that have? Does this have any, have something to do with you? Was do with Mr. Vanta in the Lost City? That's precisely it, my boy. You may recall that I I had asked Doctor Vanta for his help while I was seeking a cure for T Torty. As far our deal for Pollute Corp to return Torty to return Torty to help, Vanta asked me to share what I knew about the Lost City with him. I was running out of options to help Tori, so I agreed to his terms. What did you tell him? Everything. Including the location of the Lost City itself, or what's left of it anyway. You know where the Lost City is? Indeed I do. I alone knew of its location until recently when I shared it when I shared that information with Dr. Vanta. It's hard to find it's hard to find since it's buried deep within the trenches of the ocean floor. It happened I happened upon it one day during one of my expeditions. Expeditions when I was detecting weird sounds coming from within, within one of the trenches. After my first tour through the trench, I knew that what I found was special. I knew I had to keep its location a secret in order to preserve it. Fast forward a few years, Doctor Ventar here. <clears throat> here's the tales of the. So, of the soul heart and became obsessed with finding it. He suspects that I knew of its location since I was responsible for discovering most of the relics displayed on the Atlantean Museum. Now that he knows the location of the lost city, well, it's like his lackey said. At this very moment, he's on his way to search the lost city for the soul heart. So the soul heart is the source of all life on this planet. It's buried in the ancient an ancient city at the bottom of the ocean. 
Faith seems to think it is. Daddy, what will happen if they find the soul heart? I don't know, dear. The legend says that the soul heart is tied to all life on the planet. If Dr. Vanta does not respect the power of the soul heart, then I'm afraid it could spell disaster. That's why I need all of your help. Would you assist me in traveling deep within the trenches of the oceans to confront Dr. Vanta? I, I hope that he'll be reasonable and leave at my request, but in the event things that get heated, I would like you I would like to like to have talented Lumion trainers with me. We'll totally help you help you with this. Yeah, we can't let Dr. Vanta get away with any more of his scheme, schemes. Just tell us what to do, sir. We'll do our best. Excellent. If we're going to confront Dr. Van Vanta, we're going to want to we're going to want to be prepared. I have some equipment. I have some equipment in the back of the room of you that you trainers may find useful. Go ahead, make your final preparations. Once you're the lot, trap. Once you're ready to travel to the lot, to the lot city, let me know. <coughs> Lumion's healed. What's with the textbook? I guess we don't have time to change it out of our PJs. We're all supposed to fit in that thing. It seems kind of cramped. <sighs> I ain't gonna do. <coughs> you know, I can't drag it like crook. Are you prepared to travel to the lot to stop Dr. Vanta? Wonderful. Wonderful. All aboard. Be careful. Watch your step. Okay, is everyone buckled up? Alright, let's get the show on the road. Three, two, one. Die! I must say, I'm very grateful for this for your willingness to help me in this situation. Even if the soul heart isn't real and no and no no one is in imminent danger. Getting the Dr. Van to, getting Dr. Van to leave the lost city will at the very least help to, to preserve his ancient artifacts. Hmm, what's that down there? Oh no. It seems that Dr. Vanta has set up a perimeter. His soldiers are standing throughout the trenches of trenches to guard the lost city. This is unfortunate. Since I'm not since I'm not able to approach the city with my submarine, we'll have to send someone to clear a path for us. Ah, I have an idea. Let me find a place to park the submarine and I'll explain. <coughs> now then, can you hear me? Excellent. I hope the water isn't out there isn't too cold. I'm sorry to, a to ask this of you now. You're the only one equipped with the bubble helmet application on your Lumion watch. The bubble helmet allows you to explore underwater. And if you get into to a battle, the, bu the bubble expands to a small battlefield which you and your Lumion can breathe in. With that helmet, you should be able to be able to clear a route to, for us to get through, Dr. Van, the security. We earlier spotted a big ship ahead next to some ruins. I suspect that we will find Dr. Vanta there. You can clear, if you can clear a path through the security from here to the ruins, I will be able to approach and get us all inside. Be careful though. There's no doubt that Dr. Vanta's security team has been given orders to stop intruders by all means necessary. <coughs> be prepared to fight your way through. Do Lumians get too roughed up in battle, return to the submarine, and I'll treat them. And I'll treat them. Stand. You need everything you need. You should have everything you need. Press forward. We'll all be waiting here for you. Good luck. What the? Crap, <coughs> Bushi. Uh, Primal Slash.
I caught the crabbish. Those are the offsprings of Moldeca, the enormous moon in that circles, circles Atlantean city. It seems to be the only place in the world that these lumens exist. Hold on. <coughs> Moldeca is from the lost city? Indeed he is. I discovered him, him there sometime before he began, began circling Atlantean city. Mr. Friggs, do you know why? The Moldeca circles Atlantean City. In truth, I have no clue. When I first discovered the lost city, Moldeca rested, rested in this very pit as if it was, as it was in a beast slumber. I was bewildered to see such a mysterious, massive creature visit. Massive creature. I visited him many times and always found him asleep in the very same place. After he arrived in Atlantean City, I returned to the spot to search for clues to. That might help me understand to understand why you left. I only found a small shining red stone at the bottom of the pit. Is that the pretty red rock that you br brought home and showed me, Daddy? Yep, that's the one, Mil Milia. Something has to, something had to make him leave this home and and young to travel to Atlantean City. <clears throat> I mean, he had to live here for a really long time if he had never been discovered before, right? Maybe he's like super hungry and waiting for the right moment to go up Atlantean City. <gasps> yeah, you don't want to be eaten by a giant Lumion. Lucas, cut it out! Don't worry, Amelia. I don't think he he left left because he was hungry. I do know one thing about Moldeca, though. He is a very ancient creature. I discovered Moldeca featured in one of the lost city's murals. The murals has severely deteriorated and its meaning is therefore entirely unclear. Given that the murals were used to tell the history of the lost sea, I fear that Moldeca may have, may have had something to do with the destruction of the second second era of the second era lost city. If Moldeca played a part in the destruction of the lost city, then shouldn't we be worried about him being so close to the Atlantean city? I was nervous at first, but Moldeca never displayed any signs of aggression and rage, other than occasionally roar, roaring, which he calmly, other than occasionally roaring, he calmly circles the city as if to watch over it. I hope to one day discover his true role in history. That we will have to wait, though. Don't forget, we're here for another reason. I'll let you go back to the mission now, Dylan. Alright, we got some nice Boldeca lore. Hey, who goes there? You're not supposed to be there. No matter, no matter, we'll put a stop to this. Blue guard collect the bag. <coughs> Sam Wing and Gar Swan. Huh. Not well. Huh. Jokes on you. All right, Draco Beam. Draco Nine is Draco Beam. Huh. Ready to, ready to attack Shark with Rose. Timber. 
timber track. Oh, 50. We're the, we're, we are the only, we're, we are only the first line of defense. If you're really setting, setting on interfering with the operation, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Well, unfortunately, you, I can do better than that. Blue core personnel wears a different color, color gear to distinguish our roles. Scientists like myself are still in white gear. Members of the defense team wear different colors depending on their rank. Green is the lowest rank and it goes up from here to orange, then blue, then to red being the highest. Green rigs don't don't get deployed for missions since it's very important since it's very important. Speaking of colored gear, where where is yours and where do you get that silly bubble helmet? Okay. So the reports are true. You really try to follow us into the trenches? Ha! You you never should have bought bothered. You're way out of here. You're way out of your own here. A am, am I though? <coughs> Much meal and meal. Meal. Okay, so maybe we're the ones that are out of our element here. Yeah, maybe, or maybe not. We have slept through the entire mission briefing. That doesn't mean that you're going to get through the other guards. Whoa, well, take it easy here, buddy. You're not getting past us. The boss has got some serious business to attend to up ahead and he doesn't need you getting in the middle of it. <coughs> Advanced blue guards. What the?
sin pedo. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Well, that was a very... That, that was a really bad, bad battle. Alright. Ooh, three batteries. <coughs> Alright. Alright. Halt, return to where it is you came from. Yeah, or else. Le leave this to me. You do not belong here. It's for the best that you turn around now. Yeah, or else. Bro, seriously? Alright, you ha have it your way. Yeah, I think, I, I think I'm confident that I'm gonna win. can stop by force, but you must listen to me. Do not process any further. Yeah, or else. Getting paid triple to make sure this operation pay, pays us plays us smoothly. The fact that we're that we're going to have an epic battle at the bottom of the ocean, well, that's a bonus. Yeah, let's see how epic it truly is. Much more Tyrex. Oh, a Tyrex. Oh, 
Speciality Bits. Avoid it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Kill it. Yeah. Put triple hit too. I can't believe this. The boss is gonna be furious. It was fun while it lasted. Doctor Va Doctor Vantis. Oh wait, I think that... Okay. A boost token. Plunge. I can't allow you to proceed further. It's too dangerous and you and this is a very important work taking place. If it comes down by force, we're we are prepared. Alright, deal be guard. What the built the floor. See at your own risk, I guess. You can't, you can't say we didn't warn you.
Hello? Hey Dylan, what? Hey Dylan, what is it? You cleared what? You cleared it away? Excellent. Now we can now we can approach the ruins of the lost city safely. We'll meet you there momentarily. See you soon. Phew, I, I, I'm glad to finally get out and stretch my legs. It was pretty cramped with all of us packed tightly in, in the submarine. Sorry about that. Despite being luxurious by design, it, it was only built with the intent of only transporting two passengers. Thankfully, Dylan was able to cl clear clear us the path quickly so we didn't have to spend too much time all squished together. <coughs> it didn't really bother me, to be honest. Uh, give me a break, Mabel. Wow, would you look at the place. I can't believe this place has been sitting at the bottom of, of the ocean for who knows how long. Wait a second, look up. Is that water on the ceiling? Come to think of it, how is there air down here? There's no glass, water is hover hovering as if, as if by magic. There must be some ancient technology of, of the lost city at work. Legends say that there is technology beyond our beyond even our own. If their technology was so advanced, that, that would explain how some of these structures have, have survived in the water for so long without how eroding. Think about it. Modern structures would have, would have disintegrated ages ago due to corrosive forces of the ocean. Yet this b building in particular has withstood the forces of nature far better than, than, than the structures we, we passed, passed, on, passed on the way here, whatever whatever this whatever this place is, it must be very important. Do you think this is where Doctor Vanta is? It has to be. This is where all of the supplies from the, their ship seem to be going. I think I see more pollute court guards up ahead too. This is definitely the right place. Good. Let's see if we can catch up to, with him. Um, that he can't go to. No, sweetheart, it's too dangerous. Aw, but Dad, besides, I need someone brave to stay in the submarine and guard the submarine. Stay here. Guard the submarine. Besides, no one besides you, you and I knows how to operate the sub. But Daddy, please be safe. I will. Oh, Amelia. I've got Rory's bravest gloomy trainers with me. Alright, everyone. Let's, let's do what we came here to do. We cannot allow anything to happen to the soul heart. What's your, what's your deal? Are you are you guys back up? We science searches here to gather data to improve mankind's collection of school scholarly information regarding the lost city. If this if it's what the bombs want, he's up up ahead somewhere. Uh, oh no. Please tell me this isn't happening right now. Don't tell anyone, but I'm sort of exact. I sort of exaggerated my Lumen training experience on my resume. I really didn't think anyone would follow us at the bottom of the ocean. Hey, help me out here. Okay, okay, take it easy on me. Please, please, please. Oh man, alright, here goes nothing. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh. Well, he, well, he definitely exa exaggerated on his resume. So, all right, there, there, I can. Okay. 
है I'm going to have to update my resume. It's amazing what we are discovering down here, and we're just barely begun to scratch the surface. I can't let you ruin that for us. Can't believe you. You won't get away with this. Uh, how to deal with these two goons? What's going on, on here is not none of your buzz bullet. Yeah. Why don't you? Why don't you make like a wood puppet fade away? Build me a
poor little Garbantis. He made us look bad like a couple of dobos. Alright, Dr. Vantis, I'm here. What the? You still have. Sir, I can I conclude that the path, path to the lo lower chamber is blocked by this wall of stone. Yes, I can see that. Oh, well, based on the density of the stone, I estimate that'll, t take, that'll take our crew 12 hours to clear it away. Hey, through. We need to begin ha hauling in the necessary tools and. Enough! We won't have time for that. We've already received reports of another group approaching. It, ha it has to be Ferrix. That fool tried to keep the discovery of the lost city a secret, as if it is a responsibility to protect it. It doesn't understand the tremendous power contained within the soul heart. Long ago, I, prom I made a promise that I would find this place and unravel the secret technology of the ancient past. It's calling it is my calling, my purpose, my destiny. Therefore, the world's destiny the world destiny lies beyond that heap of this heap of rocks. Hold on, give me that pile of rocks and taste a uh, taste of your energy cannon. But sir, you still need to Excellent work, Protogon. Protogon. I can always count on my own inventions to get the job done. Please, sir, try not to be so reckless. There, there is no telling what this could have happened to this place if we continue to use excessive force like that. There is no need to exercise so much caution. This temple has survived for several millennia un underneath, beneath, beneath the ocean's surface. Besides, I will not ha have the time to sit by and play things by the book. My destiny awaits me just ahead. Stop right there, Vanta. Ah, fit barracks. I was wondering what you two would show up. Vanta, what are you planning to do here? Why are you f why are you f why bring why break ignorance? You are no longer stranger to this this history of the lost city. <coughs> you know exactly why I'm here. I tried to tell you. There's no there's still so much we don't know about the soul heart and and the civilization of the lost city. Charging in here is like this and taking the soul heart is dangerous and foolish. We we told we've been told about all of your reckless experiments with the corrupted with the corrupted stone energy. You have never you ne you never have any intention of aiding aiding Tori to help when he was inflicted with the with the blight of the corruption of this, the corrupted stone. You only wanted another stone to for more experiments with. Clearly you do not understand understand enough about the power you are playing with. I'm here I'm going to stop you right there, right here, Mr. Ferrex. It is true that I do not yet fully understand the power stored in, in Akuwari tablet nor nor the power of the soul heart. As as a scientist and inventor it is my duty to to accept a certain to a certain things how a certain things how how things work work and how to leverage them. I I believe that there is no sacrifice too great in order to secure a bright future for mankind. I don't believe in a better future for man. You don't believe in a better future for ma mankind. I have seen what you what you were creating in the, in in your lab. The aluminum you corrupted was designed for war. The only purpose for such a machine is it is a machine could serve is to force others into submission. You pest! You ought to ha have to, I ought to have you arrested for breaking an enemy. However, or having been gifted with the vision vision to see the bigger picture, I am extended. I am extending your mercy. Everything is about to change when I secure the soul heart. Since it is clear that you are not 
not here to support the cause, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You have taken enough of my time. Destiny calls calls to me, and I must answer. V Vantai, you could be making a big mistake. You are insufferable. Guards, please take care of our guest. I'm going on ahead. Guards, you're with me. Yes, sir. You're all barking up. You're all barking up the wrong tree. If you knew what's good for you, you'd turn around here and now. We can't let Mi Do we can't let Doctor Vanta get his hand on the soul hard. We had to stop him. Don't worry. Don't worry. Dylan, Dylan and I will make will make quick work of these guys. And the group guards, the rooks, and the whole team. Jester. Down. Down. Mega shot. Samurai. Okay. Alright, her plate. Actually, I should actually should be me to do more Mario. He actually looks kind of cool. Soft water. Uh, why is this not good music? Using a super effective moves against the other Oh boy. High pitch screech. Fixing to get you're all fixing to get what's coming to y'all. Great job, both of you. Now we must mustn't waste any more time. We need to catch up with Doctor Vanta quickly. Backup has arrived. 
Mr. Ferrix, it's now or never. You and Dylan need to fo follow Dr. Vanta. The rest of us will stay here and handle this. Thank you, Jake. Dylan is up to us now. Allow me to tend your loomings for a moment. Mr. Ferrix will restore your loomings to health. When it, if, if you want to access looming care, I can help you with that as well. Let's get out of here, though. You can take care of that. Yeah, further, a little further ahead. Oh man. Pro guy. I'll, I'll, I'll avenge you, Pro Pro the guy. Ah, there you are. Are you ready? Okay. I, I can't believe it's come to this. Remember, this is a very delicate situation. I can share it with you but in your final moments. It will be this. The soul, the soul heart. What power lies with it? The soul heart. It's even more magnificent than we, than what I have imagined. I wish my grandfather were here, still here to see this. Surface so is absolutely outstanding. The energy coming from the soul heart is unlike anything I've ever seen, I've ever recorded. I don't know what to make of these readings. Incredible. I can't wait to get back to the, to the lab to study it. Sir, if we look up, it appears that it appears that the soul heart is connected to the crystal in the ceiling. The soul heart, the soul stream. Let me say that the soul heart creates a network of soul crystals that stretch that throughout the entire world, and this is what gives this planet life. So this is the root source of all of all the soul crystals that grow throughout the entire world. Fascinating. Stop this at once, Vanta. So you made it past my guards. The one time I needed it most. How annoying. Vanta, can we please just talk about this? What is there to talk about? The next step for humanity is waiting right in front of your our eyes. Tampering with the soul, soul heart could could have incredible could have incredibly disastrous consequences. Are you not curious about about what happened to the people at, at, to the city after it after its people rebuilt it? There is a gap in humanity's history that leaves a lot a lot of unanswered of unanswered que questions. Yes, I'll admit that that I'm curious about the how this great city ended up in the bottom of the ocean. However, if the stories of the soul heart are, are to be believed, then, then, the then the power to possess it, that possesses it, is that of creation, not destruction. I will not believe that terrible fate of this ancient civilization was, was wrought by the soul heart. Even so, power like that, that should not be wielded by a single person with such reckless ambition. My reckless ambition is what led has led to me making to my life many great accomplishments. And besides, I promised my father that I would never give up on my ambition. Not like he did. I can tell you that your resolve is strong, Vanta, but I can't and stand by and let you tamper with the soul heart. Enough of this. You, if you pests aren't going to continue are you going to continue to delay me, then I have no choice but to put it into this myself. We'll see whose resolve is strong, stronger in the final bet in the final battle between you and me. I'm afraid it will come to this. Just do your very best. That's all I can ask of you. You'll do great. Time to put it, put an end, end to your tiring destructions once and for all. Tyrants. <laughs> Use Earthquake. Not very really effective. Um, oh, are you about attack? Send in Samurai. Use timber trash. I'm 
Try sore. What are you saying? No, Strasor doesn't seem to get the memo. No, this can't be happening. I can't get- I can't keep letting you get in the way of my destiny. First, you interfere with my plan to create a Lumian army of Lumians that could bring order to society. Now you get- now you get in the way- get my way to discover the potential to evolve humanity. Who are you anyways? You have the audacity to, to interfere with my destiny. Not once, but twice. Jake, D Dylan, Jake, and the others may- be young, but their interests for humanity are more calculated than your, yours. You might say that it's, that it's their destiny to stop you from killing yours, but why? Why can I serve out this one small challenge? Why am I reversed for so many? Reversed for so many? So many of my accomplishments. You, you puny nobody should have no say in what I do. You have no right to. The right inter interfering with me and my path to glory. And to, what, you are so obsessed with this idea of building a new world for humanity that you have not considered the consequences of your actions will have. Pla placing the power, placing the power to make changes to humanity into the hands of a single man is unethical. People should come together to make ch changes we need in society. If you feel that there should be that there are changes to you made you should unify people as part of their choice to make a difference. You're wrong. People are weak and lazy. I saw I thought my inventions would help help to change that. I saw I could help those people 
I could help those people who couldn't help themselves. But I've done nothing but to enable, enable pe people to be even more lazier and more dependent on technology. I have to fix what I and others have co contributed to the decay of society. Vanta, Vanta, what about your cyber pride? What about your cyber prospect year that has greatly improved the lives of the physically, physically impaired? Your obsession, your obsession with the ideal society has blinded you from seeing the good you've done. That doesn't matter to me anymore. Right now, the only thing that matters is me taking this so hard and shaping it, shaping the perfect future. Look over there. We made it. What do we miss? Oh my! Is that the soul heart? Wow, it's so big, big and bright. We took care of all the guards. How's everything down here? Everything is just fine. Dr. V Venta was defeated in a battle against Dylan and was just about to stand down. That's wonderful. Good job, Dylan. You saved the soul heart. Right on. You're incredible. What would we do without you? Nice work. I knew we could ca count on you. Star, what are you doing? <coughs> Star, was that you? Starla? That was scary. What just happened? Wait. It, it can't be. Was that... Starla, what are you doing? What's happening? Mabel, what? Do you know what's going on? I have no idea. Starla has never made any, any noises before. A soul... A soul burst crystal. Did you see that? The soul heart, heart just did something to the stress store. Could it be? Did the soul heart just react to Starla's cry? <laughs> what the heck? What, what is that saying? How did they get, how did they get down here? How did that get down here? It must have been hiding in the waters this whole time. Did, did that thing live down here? This room was sealed off just recently. It had to be already down. It already had to be down and perhaps hibernating at the bottom of this pool. I bet Starlet's scream alert alerted it. In any case, it didn't look too happy. Do you think it's going to attack us? It looks pretty. It looks a little pretty confused. Ah, ah, I'm sorry. Everyone stay calm. I think I gotta figure it out. As I recall, one of the ancient murals I discovered in the remains of this city depicts the creature of creation that appointed a very important role. This cre creature bears a, a great resemblance to to the image of the of the mural. If my gear is correct, this may be, be that creature, or at least one of its kin. Was it, what was the special role, role it was given? It was char it was charged with eliminating anything that threatened the safety of the soul heart. Aw oh man, we're all gonna die down here. That thing's claws are longer than my arms. Calm yourself, lad. It hasn't attacked yet. Maybe it could maybe it could still be deciding whether or not we're friends or foe. Whether or not Well, nothing is ever gonna stop me from leaving here with the soul heart. If that makes me a foe, then so be it. I cannot be stopped from fulfilling my destiny. Stress or you're looking lively again. That thing over here needs to be eliminated for my plan to progress. Take it out. Huh? What's going on? My Lumi Watch has never done this before. Soul the soul crystal is powering its connection to stress or with stress or somehow. What happens if I interact with was it now? Soul burst. Soul burst. Yeah. 
Jetwing Stratosaur. Amazing. We're already witnessing just a small portion of the soul heart's power. Imagine what we can do we can do if we find a way to harness that power. Stratosaur, take him out. Tables have turned. Nobody stands in the way of my destiny. Even the Soul Heart knows it. The Soul Heart has accepted me as his new master. If that's true, then we're in big trouble. Now can I say we're all gonna die? We can't just go back out now. Your moments are driven by blind obsession and a ferocity of power. You are playing with powers that you still don't don't understand. And we have no choice but to do to do everything we can to stop you before this goes too far. A silver's crystal. And you want to go this guy. It happened again. So hard to give another piece to step to his guardian. Does that mean? Dylan, your Lumi watch. It's glowing. Just like Venta's watch just before his stress was changed and got stronger. That gives me an idea, Dylan. I think we'd still win. Try using your Lumi watch to synchronize with the guardian. Guardian Lumi. We'll give. Man to a taste of his own medicine. Alright, Electro Blast. Alright, Soul Burst Power. Active, activate. And. Overcharged D Daruka. No, no. The Soul Heart chose me to be its master. Why did they grant you powers too? Soul Heart seems to have unlocked a new power for Lumians. It allowed them to take on a new, a new, a new more powerful form. Also, give them the power to use a strong, new, stronger, new attack. However, it does seem, it does seem that this transformation uses a lot of the Lumian strength and can only last the duration of the battle. Sir, the power, the power that both Lumians displayed are, are at, displayed after changing forms was incredible. This opens up so many new, possibil new possibilities. If we just figure out how we can better exploit the phenomena. Enough! You've lost twice now, Vanta. You're out moved to play. At this point, you're you'll be lucky to just leave without a soul sharp piece. Leave without a soul. Without, without a piece of soul heart. So you've got points. As much as I hate to admit it, we're out of options. Maybe we should retreat for now and return with. No! I'm not leaving with the soul heart. Vanta, don't! Sir, I win. The power belongs to me and nobody else. With it, I will. <sighs> the soul heart. The soul heart. What happened? What, what happened? It's gone. And this pain. Cuck, cock, cock. Something isn't right. Venta, what have you done? This place is no longer stable. Water from the outside is beginning. To begin to flood this chamber it is not safe here. So we need to go right now. But Soul Heart, what ha what's happening? I don't feel so good. Sir, so just follow me. We need to get you to a doctor immediately. Can you still move on your own? Yes, but Soul Heart. Yes, sir. After we, after we get you looked at, let's go. Okay. Manta, you can't just leave like this. We gotta get out of here too. Let's go. Is he calling to me? There's two items. A duck a Daku burst. Two items. A Daku burst and a crystallium seat. Restore the Daku burst. The Daku burst and the I am that. Come on, Dylan, hurry. Daku Daku can now be 
found roaming in the wild. Phew, that was close. Yeah, it looked like we made out there just in time. So how'd it go? There was a big, there was a big soul, big soul crystal, and it was the, and and then there was this like this huge monster Luvian. We totally almost died. Okay, but then, knock it off, Lucas. A lot happened. We'll discuss everything when we get back home. When we get back home. For now, everyone take a deep breath and relax until we get back. A few days later, later, back at at the Ferrex estate, reports of of especially strong lumens appear. Appearances continue to increase across Roria. Eyewitnesses are saying that that some lumens can now evolve beyond their previously known potential, changing forms and increasing in power. People are beginning to call this new new form of evolution Soul Burst. It is to believe that it ch that changes in the in the flow of energy throughout the like the soul stream is ca cause this to occur. Additionally, multiple tremors have been have been falling over the all over the world. Experts saying that it could that this could could also be linked to the changes in the soul in the soul stream's flow. Another news: Atlant Atlantean Atlantean official. Which have reported that the colossal lumen known as Moldeca has stopped circling circling Atlantean City and is heading towards towards mainland. Scientists are monitoring its movement and saying that and says that it's heading directly towards for Ruria's ancient bat battle coliseum. Stay tuned for more for for more information. So they're calling this new lumen transformation soul burst. I wonder how long, long will it be before everyone is using soul burst in lumen battles? The news about Moldeca leaving Atlantean and will be heading forward to land bothers me. I need to study its movements to understand what, what it is doing now. Soul heart must have been what caused the sur to surge in soul in the soul stream. We even created those odd crystals and allowed lumen. Lumen to soul burst. Doctor Ventus Strasor can only can only soul burst after receiving its own crystal. But why did Doctor Vanta and Dylan need to use Lumen watches to trigger the transformation? Lumen watches are powered by a certain type of soul cr crystal, right? Maybe the Lumen watches cr crystal is interacting with the Lumen's crystal, so somehow activating the transformation. Yeah, that must be it. Lumen watches are capable, are capable of doing so many powerful things because of this. Because of the small, because of the small, the small, small soul crystals that that powers them. The crystals in the watches must be capable of emitting, of emitting a, a pulse similar to the pulse that the soul crystal, the soul heart was emitting. All right, that should do it. I can't thank you enough, Mr. Ferrix, for allowing. Me my wife and I to come through tr 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 corrupted st stone in person. I will say nothing of it. We should probably be thinking, thanking Vaxley for keeping it safe from from Doctor v Vanta's men, men for, while we're gone. Speaking of which, what did you do? What did you end up doing to those poor to those poor souls, Vaxley? Uh. I merely took out the garbage as as usual, sir. Thank, thanks to all of you, we we now have a have four pieces of the corrupted tablet in our possession. I believe that that there should be four more pieces left. We're halfway done with collecting the pieces of Akuwari's tablet. I can't believe that there that there are more of those awful tainted things out there. I hope we can. I hope you can find find them before. Anyone else can fall ill to their to their corruption. I'm sure we'll have them all all back in no time. What, what worries me is now that is that the story was the was the soul soul heart. 
Tell me again what happened out there. Tell me again what happened out there. You mentioned that the soul heart completely shattered after Dr. Vanta tried to remove it. <clears throat> it launched... It launched him across the room when it exploded. You should have seen the look at his face. That Vanta, he'll pay for what he's done. The only thing will happen now that the soul heart is destroyed. I think the natural disasters popping popping around the world are a bad sign. The soul heart has been with us from the very beginning. Now that it's gone, there is no telling what could what could happen. You mentioned that the soul heart surged before it was, it was destroyed, and it was and that there were and that when was then the lumens began to soul burst. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Mabel, didn't you remember those terrible screams that came from Starla? Every time she screamed, the soul heart heart reacts somehow. Normally, Star sort of never makes so much of a peep. But down there, it seems like Starla was angry. I can't figure out what what made her so angry. But thinking about it, do you think she was upset with the soul heart? She calmed down after the soul heart was destroyed. Maybe the soul heart was somehow somehow the reason she was upset. How peculiar. I never actually seen a Lumion like your stuff like your startled before. Nor I, as the Lumion professor, I I've seen many many Lumion species. It must be very rare. Where did you come across come across her? We ran to some guy on the P, on the PR on Route 8. He asked me to take care care of her. Starlet instantly took to the liking to Mabel when she when we first met her. <clears throat> she hasn't left, left Mabel's side since then. I told Stringer, Stringer gave you a rare Lumion to look after. That's certainly odd. If Starla does anything, anything strange like that again, can you please let me know? I would like to know. I would like to know more about this Lumion. Yes, I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> I have a feeling that there's more. That there's more to this Lumion than meets the eye. Uncertain time things are ahead are ahead of us. With the soul heart broken, it is unclear what lies in store for humanity. For now, we must do we can to to avoid for disaster. Where should we where should we go, go to find the next piece of the tablet? Ah, yes. I was able to capture a precise close up sample of the sig signal em emanating from Fer Mr. Ferret to Stone. Using that, I adjusted my sisters to antiquate that that particular frequency pattern. This allowed me to isolate for to isolate for the other stone signal without interference from the, from this one. It has been quite an effective strategy, if I say so myself. That's cool, but like what? <laughs> I'm all I'm trying to say is that I I know roughly the location of the Next piece. It is on the frozen mountains of Roria in the vicinity of a small town called Frostvale. You need, you need to travel you need to travel by train to get get to the base of the mountain. I'm not sure what I'm not sure there is really any better way to go there. Of course once you once you visit it will it, it will only geo hop be a geo hop away, right? Ha ah, trains. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't have minded st starting a railroad company of Roria if it if it didn't already have one. Let's see. Where where is another train station in Roria? There's one in Chester Town, I believe. Have you ever been in there? That been there or that way? Ah uh, yes. We're quite quite familiar with Chester Town. We live in the Mist Town. Ah <coughs> uh, yes, of course. That's telling me that's where your lab is located. Yep, that's the one. Well then, your mother and I are off again. We'll keep in contact via Lumi Watch if we need anything else. Take care, everyone. Well, Mr. Ferrix, it looks like this is a good, this is goodbye. Thank you again for all your help, Mr. Ferrix and Mr. Ba Baxley. You're all w welcome to come back and visit as as many, at any time you wish, Amelia. And I would lo love to have you back. Ba Baxley would love to make make this special suit for you again. It would be my honor to treat you, treat our guest again. Well, it will, 
if we're talking dinner, why don't we come back tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Because you know very well, very well that we don't have the time to come back back tomorrow. I will return to Chestnut Town to take the train to Frostwell. Yeah, we gotta make our way be there now. Oh, before we go, Dylan, would you let, would you mind coming back to this to discuss something with me when you get a chance? There's something I could use your help with when you have when you have the time. Once you're ready, just swing by and help. Home and let my my home is like now you know thanks. All right, Evelyn, let's go. What was this? Cutscene. Soul versus crystal. Oh. All right, the ring. The energy pulses came came from this war world. It has to be him. Let's start searching. Tessa. Okay, that wraps up this very eventful episode of Lumen Legacy. I hope I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to leave a like, and like and subscribe for more videos. And until until we head to Brock Frostvale, I'll see you guys later. Till then, see ya.